song picked out. Good to see you there. Yeah. And uh, we'll be around for our usual hour. So tell your family and friends and tell everybody about our program. We like to share it with everyone. So, all right. Let's get the singing started and uh, call on my better half, Faith Heyman. And what are you going to do, Faith? At the crossing. There's a river somewhere that's called Jordan, and they say that it's deep and it's wide, and they say. Thank you, Faith. Yeah, at the crossing. Now let's keep the singing going and call on Debbie Dodwell. How you doing, Debbie? I am blessed. 
I am blessed. That's good. I have been praying for the people out in Texas. Yeah. And we think about the rain here. I am so blessed. And I want everybody to listen to the words of this song. The family who prays. song good message in that song too okay the trio they're up next and girls what you got for us what a happy reunion in heaven yeah kind of kind of goes along with that one debbie just sung mm -hmm. yes. Sorry. <clears throat> so often down here we'll have a be there with 
Tonight I'd like to share with you Psalm 67. God, be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Save us, that thy way may be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. O oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Save us. Let the people praise thee, O oh God, let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us at all the ends of the earth shall fear him and I'd like to share the song someone to care you know a lot of people think there's nobody out there that cares about them but there is that one main person that does so Tears 
many times when I was out west I did feel alone but then I remember there is one yes. who still loved me yes. and uh, I'm so glad that one let me back into his fold yes. and uh, I'd like to say uh, I, I appreciate God giving me the, the sister like my baby sister Debbie she's a blessing to me and I thank him every day and I'd like to say Happy birthday, baby sister. I love you. Yeah. Her birthday's September 16th, and and a happy belated birthday to my Aunt Carol. She's, she's what you call my other mummy now. So, love you, Aunt Carol. How much younger is Debbie than you? Debbie is two years younger than me. Okay. So, that makes me <laughs> older than her. <laughs> Oh, these ages. These happy birthdays and everything. Good to have you all tuned in. Yeah. Our address, P.O. Box 422, Syracuse, Ohio, 45779. We appreciate your mail, folks. Thank you very much. We really love you for it. All right, and uh, more singing. Cheryl Knight, she's up next. Cheryl, yep. where are you going? I'll live in glory. I like to stay here longer than men's a lot of days and watch the fleeting changes of life's uneven ways. But if my Savior calls me, to that sweet home on high, I'll live with him forever in glory by and by. Oh, yes, I'll live in glory by and by. I'll tell and sing the story there on high. Share with my dear lady, no more to die. Oh, yes, I'll live in glory. Amen. 
Good job, Cheryl. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, live in glory land. By and by. What time that's going to be. Hmm? 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 Well, probably moving right along now. Hey, we get to the place where we'll see what time is it is. Come forth, Daniel. Charlie and Daniel. We're waiting on you. Yeah, it takes about a, takes about a mile and a half trip up here. Yeah. That's not too bad. No. I have a, I have a cute little picture I want to show with Charlie. Some of these pictures are just, they're just out of this world. <laughs> It's like a dog's getting a surprise kiss here or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like that boy grabbed that dog right by the nose. Looks like he's by yeah. his nose, his mouth or something. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's white as a guy. <laughs> dog said, hey, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, that's good. Anything? Today, Charlie. Well, we've got another little squirrel tale we can tell. Okay. <laughs> uh, squirrel season used to come in the 15th of September. I time. well remember that. Yes. And, uh, of course, this one year we had school at, on that day. School? Yeah. So I, I was never in school on the 15th of September. <laughs> I never was. <laughs> so, Man, this buddy of mine was really wanting to go squirrel hunting bad. Mm -hmm. So, of course, our parents, they made us go to school. Mm -hmm. So we got to make, gather and making it up. And bus driver, if you put off any trouble on the bus, he'd put you off. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that happened. We got on the bus that morning and went to carrying on like we was fighting and bus driver didn't say anything. We kept it up. And oh. He said, boys, go sit down. He said, I know what you're up to. <laughs> so, <laughs> he was smarter than we was. <laughs> so you missed that exciting <laughs> yeah. first day of hunting season. So we yeah. had to go on to school anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. Yes, it was. <laughs> A lot of times we'd take our gun and hide them down at the bus stop and catch them on the way home to go squirrel hunting. You <laughs> well, I don't know. I think they changed the season maybe around the 1st or 2nd of oh, September, but... August now, I think. When? Today. Today? There for a while, come in in August even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think that was a little bit early. Yeah, it was. I think it was a little bit early. Yeah. I had that big old hawk try to catch a rabbit in my backyard the other day. <laughs> mm -hmm. He came down and tried to get that rabbit. Swampy. Good yeah. for the rabbit. Uh -huh. Say good for the rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> I know the. I know a dove wasn't that lucky. I, I think I told this the other day. I got up in the morning, looked out, went out in the kitchen, looked out the kitchen door, and there was a hawk in the yard. And he had this, well, <coughs> the dove was pretty well gone. Yeah. And uh, there was a bunch of feathers left out there. And, and, and he took off with what was left of the dove. He took off with it. That's the first time I saw a hawk. Uh, well, around the yard, <coughs> or a cave guy, you'll see one fly around, but, yeah. Well, those things happen. When I was at home, we had a little banny chickens. Mm -hmm. And uh, hawk got one of them once, and of course, he just swooped down, got him, started up. And I ran the house and got a shotgun, a shot, and he dropped the, him yeah. when I shot. <laughs> Was the chicken all right then? He was all right. Wow, well, boy, that was close. Yeah, it was. I, uh, 
We had a visitor down the house the other day. Uh, Katie did. You know what Katie yep. did is? I love to hear those things at night. Uh huh. You need to get up and seem like a up in a tree. Yeah. And uh, my son Kim told me this the other day. He said, uh, it was a Katie did got in his trailer. And uh, I said, so I picked him up like this, put my hands on him, and went out and pushed the door open and then did that. Katie did took off and he no more and took off and here come a, a red bird. Huh. Just like a streak, grabbed that Katie did and that was the end of the Katie did. Uh -huh. oh. yeah. I'll <laughs> Well, that's nature. Yeah, nature. nature. That's Evan's favorite bird too. That's I watch some animal shows sometimes, and it's terrible how some animals does the others. I know, I know. But that's what they are, animals. Well, Charlie, think about that time. All right. Get in your back pocket and reach out to See what we can find here. Yeah, I know you got something good. <laughs> All right, Charlie White. A prayer for peace. Oh, God, our help in ages past, our hope in years to be. Look down upon the troubled world and see our need for thee. For in the age of unrest, with violence all around, we need thy hand lead us <coughs> to higher, safer ground. Without thy help and counsel, we are helpless to restore safety and security in our hearts and homes once more. And give us strength and courage to be honorable and true, and to place our trust and plenty in unseen things and you, and keep us kind and humble, and fill our hearts with love, which in a selfish, greedy world man has so little of. Forgive our transgression, and help us find a way to be a better world for everyone where man walks in peace each day. Love y'all out there in TV land. Just keep those cards, letters, emails, and phone calls coming in. All right, that's Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. That's good. Ted's got his guitar now. And the sweet by and by.
sweep by and by. Said I was just, uh, someone just told me that uh, me and you have shirts just about alike. Not quite, but close to it. Yeah, mine don't have any red. I never noticed that. Of course, the women always notice stuff like that, especially faith. I don't know either. I don't know if it's time for you to sing next, so. Your time to sing. Not ready here. <laughs> I think this song's in F sharp. We used to sing it in G. And how it is when you get older, you kind of <laughs> drop. Nah, it nah, nah it don't happen around here. <laughs> <laughs> Carol dropped something. I don't okay, know. That's, I'll get it. All right. <laughs> All right. In F sharp, I believe, Dan. Let me get it right here. Yeah. I faced the mountain, a trial of snow. Big old 
Good, good. And I want to say that I love my Lord. Yeah. <coughs> I don't have no sad stories to tell, but <coughs> I'm just glad for my Jesus. And I don't know what I'd ever do without him. Yeah. I'm glad that for each day to get up and just be able to set up on the bed. That's, that's something. Yeah. I thank him for everything anymore. The girls that comes and helps take care of me this week and just some of them get down on the floor in front of me and just sit and I tell them a story about my little grandson. Everyone had come in, the doctors, and I had them crying. But you know, it's all good. I can see everything good now. God will eventually tell us everything he wants us to know and why. So I just thank him, and I don't know how people could not thank the Lord for getting up for a good night's sleep. Yes. Yeah. That's worth it all. And uh, I want to thank Sid for so much he does for me. He gives me my medicine and just takes such a good care of me. And I love him for it. Amen. Thank you for everything, Lord. All right. <clears throat> good touch, man. I'm going there. <clears throat> yes, sir. Oh, I'm going, going there. there. Ain't nobody gonna stop me. I'm going there. Don't you wanna go to well, well, I'm going there. Ain't nobody gonna stop me. With God's help, I'm going there. Brother, I'm going to meet him at the way up in the Brother, I'm going to meet him at the going there when I die. Brother, I'm going to meet him at the only this I cry. Brother, I'm going to meet him at the way up in the sky. I'm going there. Ain't nobody going to stop me. I'm going there. Don't you want to go to jail? Well, I'm going there. Ain't nobody going to stop me. With God's help, I'm going there. what you do not see. Now, the reward of this faith is to see what you believe. Oh, that is faith. <laughs> faith is to believe what you do not see. The reward of this faith is to see what you believe. <laughs> it's to see it. Oh, goodness. That's great. 
All right. My better half, I believe, is up next. Faith. And uh, what are you going to do for us? Okay, I want to tell Sid and Carol, I enjoyed that song. Yes. Yeah. Because every word is true if you're a Christian. I'm going there and get away from all this turmoil, floods, tornadoes, sickness. It's going to be wonderful because I love my Savior and what he did for it. I love my Savior too. It's an old uh, hymnal so you all can sing it too with me. Jesus, my heavenly King, loves me, I know. Praises to him I'll cling, onward I go. Closely to him I'll cling, blessings still flow. I love my Savior too. Yes, I'm enjoying those songs. Yeah. Without Jesus, you won't make heaven. And that has got a lot of truth just in that one line. Without Jesus, like Aunt Carol said, you wouldn't be able to wake up. You wouldn't be able to see. You wouldn't be able to talk. So we depend on Jesus. And that's what he expects us to do. And we're supposed to give him praise for everything, for everything that he does. We've got to share it with one another. Like I've told everyone, the Lord has brought me through so much. Yeah. Through so much. My Aunt Carol was in the hospital. And this past week, I just kept telling Sharon to pray for me and asked Marvin to pray for me. I didn't think I was going to make it till this Monday. But we got to have faith like Doris, my friend down in Virginia. She keeps telling me. Don't put that fear. Fear is of the, the devil. So I kept trusting on the Lord. I didn't want to have to call the squad. I didn't want Marvin to have to try to take me to go to the hospital. But 
But thank God I'm here and I appreciate it, like Dave Carroll said. I depend on him for so many things. I don't mean to take up the time. I love everyone out there. I may not know your name. I may not know your name. But when I go to prayer, I ask God to watch over our faithful listeners and the ones that just scans the station and just stops to listen for a few seconds. I want to be able to say one thing or do one thing. I don't want to make it to heaven and not be able to bring somebody with me that I was a part of bringing somebody to meet my Savior. So pray for me when you have no one to pray for. Pray for the hymn timers. The enemy likes to fight all around us for, from families, sickness, and the floods out in Texas. The enemy tries to pull you down, but you got to keep looking up. There's a brighter day, and that's what I'm longing for is to see my Savior and to say thank you. Thank you. Just to be able to, just to be able to get there, to be able to kneel down and it'll take me thousands and thousands of years because I can't thank him enough. I can't thank him enough. So pray for me. That song, uh, Without Jesus, What Will I Do? That is. That you won't make heaven. Many kingdoms you may share, you may be a millionaire, but without Jesus, you won't make heaven. Deeds and titles you may claim, every But without Jesus, you won't make heaven. When Christ shall come, all the saints of God will meet Him in the air. But without Jesus, you won't. Make heaven. And when we step inside those gates of pearl, the Savior's face I'll see. But without my Jesus, you won't make heaven.
Jesus, you won't make heaven. And when we step inside those gates of pearl, the Savior's face I'll see, but without Jesus, you won't make it. That's good. That's good. All right, let's move on along to another good song, another good singer, and call on Cheryl. All right, Cheryl. <laughs> what do you got? I wouldn't miss it, would you? <coughs> We're going to sing Because He Loved Me. Is that right, girls? We're going to try. Our other girl? We're going to try. She's on her way. <laughs> you just got to bear with us because <laughs> when you have problems and in your legs, they get weak and they get hard, and sometimes it's hard to grab your walker or your cane in time. And just takes a little while, so bear with us. We're still singing for the Lord, and we still love you all out there. Oh, pray. 
places there name he loves me so i am his he's mine i know he suffered it all because he loved me Time's all gone here on the evening with Dan Hamlin and all the country hymn timers. Thank you so much for tuning in. Been good having you. We'll see you back this way the next time. Bye bye. It's good to be on this road.